In today's video, we'll be reviewing the fuser installation instructions for the HP 4001 printer. Uh, the part number for the fuser is the is RM24696. Before we begin, make sure you check out metrofuser.com for HP fusers kit and kits. We'll be using the uh, the HP 4001 today uh, as our demo machine, but all the printers in this series, uh, the procedure is similar. Uh, we can start by making sure the printer is off and unplugged and approach the printer from the rear. We're going to open the rear access door. The tools we're using today are the uh, it's a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. And the repair time is about 10 minutes. We're using the flathead to help remove the covers. Now, at the time of this video, the OEM didn't publish any recommended page yield for the fuser, but it's generally around 50,000 pages or as needed. Now this printer and the fuser are very similar to the 402 series, but the fuser is different. There's a connector that is uh, set up differently, so they don't they don't uh, cross over. You see where uh, the white connector is wrapping around the frame when it's connected to the side. So the fuser is out. Now the reassembly is just a reverse procedure. This fuser and kit uh, for this series is available in a number of different service options, uh, exchange, as well as outright in the uh, oncoming days. Printer diagrams can be found for the series and others at metrofuser.com. Just click on the blog link at the top of the page. Move over here. Important to get those cables back in the uh, cable trays just to keep them from uh, moving too much.
Cover's gonna be tricky, just letting up the tension on the, on the front cover to get the side cover. You may or may not have to do this. This is a brand new printer, so it's pretty tight. So the assembly is going to be from the rear first and then moving forward. And the assembly is complete. Thanks for watching. Please click, um, please click like and subscribe for more information or valuable videos and instructions. Visit metrofuser.com and again click on the blog link and you can search by model. Thanks. Have a good day.